got to hear everybody's story and then kind of go from there. But you got to learn how to listen first. <laughs> if you can't listen, you won't get it. Exciting, uh, adrenaline for me right now. Yeah, I, I love creating, and I really appreciate that I was asked to come and be part of this. And you know, bond with some guys here. I'm, I'm more or less under the same conditions, and it's cool. It's really cool. It means a lot to me. Well, it was a lot of fun just seeing something really different, a really different technique, and it, it's just fun to be out here. Um, it's been, you know, really cool just uh, messing with, you know, a, a form of art that I've never messed with before, you know, being able to work with the glass, you know, physically with your hands and, and create something is just really cool. The bottom line is that everybody's human and everybody has love for someone or something that when it's abruptly taken away, it's like there's a there's a terrible tear, a rip, and it leaves a scar like a like a hurt. And with the glass, it's kind of like you're able to step out of that mood for a little while. And I think that with you guys, you know, the same kind of thing. You guys have been through a hell of a lot of just anguish, serious pain. And here's this experience that is totally devoid of that. You know, here's here's all you guys, you know, being creative, using your imagination. You know, something that is totally different from that, that pain. So for me personally, that's where it's at. Today has been absolutely incredible, a wonderful partnership with Fresno State to be able to bring um, our Art of Life men um, to a new medium to introduce glass working. And it um, wouldn't be without Professor Joe Morrell and, and students that have actually come back to volunteer. We're just so glad that um, the Art of Life family has expanded so that we can provide support, not just to cancer survivors, but to their family and their friends too.